G'day Scrappers, Menace here with another episode of Scrap Mechanic and this episode, as you probably can tell already, is going to be the start of a couple of episodes of building the Y-Wing. So last episode of Scrap Mechanic, I asked all you lovely people what you would like me to build, an A-Wing or a Y-Wing? And there were a heap of comments. I'm going to flash up the winners right now, obviously being the Y-Wing. Y -wing. Thank you for your input on this I really appreciate it. This is what we're going to be doing in the first episode. Pretty much going to start off by building the chassis. So just the bare minimum, um, we're going to spend a bit of time on trying to make it look cool. And I've started work on the general outline here, as you can see. So this is the uh, cockpit from here. So we will put our little seat right there. And that's where we'll be flying this bad boy from. At the back, we've got a bit of a fuselage and a couple of engines, which will be off the side. We've got this on... Um, got it on on uh, on the lift, obviously. What I might actually do is make this an uneven amount here, because I want to use um, the large tanks as sort of the engines for it. I'm just going to have to take a look at the design of it a bit closer, and then and we'll see how and I'll see how this will look. Okay, so it looks like the engines actually stick out quite a bit. Um. Yeah, I wanted to make it in the center. I did I I add an extra I think I added too, whoop, too many. So obviously this is going to probably change. There we go. That's where I want it so that I can put on the large tank like that. I think that will look really nice. And we can we can put on four of these each side. These are super heavy though. So we're going to need a lot of power for this lovely machine and is this not the same? Yep, I added an extra one on there as well. So we'll remove that. And then that's not wood. One, two, three. How many was over there? Is it three? It is three. So we can put on some of you. Is that right? Yes, it is. Very nice. And then one, two more over here. And let's see how that looks for scale. Let's have a look at it from underneath. I think that looks pretty good scale. Um, are they only even? No, they're even, I think. Let's count this out, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're good to go. So then from here, I really would like to make... Uh, we'll make this out of metal, though, because... What I want to do is sort of have it like this. Go out the side. Actually, we'll put on a lot, uh, another layer of this in here. Like that. And then what I want is this to run down the side. Because obviously off the back of the Y-Wing, we have these, I guess, like, I don't know what they are really. Kind of thruster type stuff. Uh, we can delete that out of there. We're going to have to keep that one. We can delete that. And I'm pretty much going to do the same here. Like that. And this can go into right into there, which is fine. I might even have to start replacing... I can just put it, put it over the top of the wood, which is fine. And we'll do the same here. And how far out do we want to go with this? Actually, we'll try... We'll go over the top as well. Might put that like that. And then we can go sort of here. Is this the right length there? That's fine. We can build this in here like this. Yep. Delete all that. Oh, need to put a block there. I think that's actually been removed. It's fine. Uh, now we have to go up one more again. And then we can easily get rid of all of this. Cool, and then we'll do the same on the opposite side. So that, that, and that. There, 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 and there again. And then we'll go out to all the way to the end of our engine bay. I don't know, maybe I can just put a single one of these on the end. I don't know, I'll have to have a look at it when it's done. The front doesn't look bad at all. I like the look of this. Maybe we can put some more blocks in to sort of make it a bit more curved, if that makes sense. Did I put it? I think I put it there. I did. I did put it there. That goes in there like that. I think that looks cool. 
So how far back do we want to make this? It's almost double again. Uh, actually, we need to get the top one to go all the way across. So what if we put in one, two, three, four? That will be fine. So this is where we want to go to. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Uh, we might just go like this. Hey, work. It won't work. Put all this along here. And then do the same on this side. So I wanted to kind of include you in the build process for this. Um, as opposed to the Imperial T4A ship, in which I just showed you the end result. Um, let's see. Is this going to look effective or should I put it on the inside like that I think that looks cool so as I said I want to do this will be a multi-part video I want to spend a bit of time on this one so uh, I'd like to spread it across maybe two or even three videos we'll see how we go um, from here I'm probably going to load up thrusters onto this side how many can I fit in this thing? I want them to be even. Uh, so maybe we just go four like that. I think four would be plenty. Uh, and if I need to, I can put more like here. Obviously, thrusters are going to look derpy regardless, but th that's okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to work on the opposite side, and then I'll see you when I've done that. Okay, so that is how it sort of looks. And you know what? I think that looks really cool. The scale is actually not too bad at all. I could probably go a little bit thicker around these parts, which I think I will um, make this sort of go... Maybe one more. Hey, get in there. I think I might just do it like that. That's not too bad. We're using two at the back here and then one at the front. Then we could basically... Uh, I could probably replace all this in here too that and then I can oh it's not on the uh, on the lift anymore you peanut and I should be able to delete all this out of here please don't Phew. like that and I think I might just have to leave that one in there I know it should be fine I think that I can delete this yep we're good to go cool and I'll do that on the opposite side as well I'll delete you out of here buddy Alrighty, and let's do the same here. Make sure I don't delete that block. I think that the actual um, the the big tanks you, you do have a good good amount of area that you can um, connect to, and it counts all around the edges. So I'm just being cautious because, man, it's so frustrating when you accidentally delete half of your entire structure you've been working on for like how long so let's build this up a little bit um, might even just go one like that all right and then it'll be the same underneath we'll delete all this out of here because we don't need it oh did I oh I almost did what I thought I was gonna do before we don't need you as well um, but we do want to put down another sort of Row just to give it a bit of a bit of thickness. Down with the thickness. Uh, we might even. Oh, I could theoretically use some of the um, curve blocks here. Let's let's take a look and sort of make this a little look a little bit more aerodynamic. Speaking of, I may just put this on the front. They don't look too bad. The little the white jiggy. So let's get rid of this row. And that's a bearing. We'll put all this down in here. That's not bad. All right, next we'll need to build up as well the engine bay. Once I do a little bit of cosmetic work on these outside wings and I'm happy with them, I'll let you know because I'll be still here building. And um, then we'll move on to doing this section of the engine here where we also need to hide a whole heap of thrusters before i do go on to the next part i did want to share with you something i'd realized just now is you see these crossbars for the engines 
On the actual Y-Wing itself, they are more in this area. So as opposed to being a vertical north, east, south, west, they're more like north, east, south, west, blah, blah, blah. So north, east, south, east. I don't even know. But they're more like this. But unfortunately, I can't do that because you see, even though this block is out, I can't pop a block there. So we will have to deal for now with this, which kind of does suck. It's not going to be 100% true, but it'll be... It still looks cool in my opinion. I think that looks really good. So I'll continue on with the little bit of cosmetics that I'm going to do here. And then I will start work on the engine bay where our vertical lift is going to come. So I think we're going to have a few issues with stability on um, with the thrusters that are going to provide us with the vertical lift. Because we need that vertical lift to basically get off the ground. Obviously a Y-Wing does not work like that. Um, I think that they use some kind of special magic Star Wars stuff to to get out of there I guess out of the uh, what would you call that like space stations and whatnot so I think what we will do though is we'll make try and make an area in which we can put down quite a few of these lovely things and you know what this is actually not a bad little spot it's actually a pretty good width as well so I'll drop down a whole heap of thrusters all right and then from there we're going to have to turn them down um my issue being that we also going to need to create the same amount of thrust at the front maybe we can just put well there's it's a lot heavier at the back than it is at the front so let's let's give this a test we can put three in here three again i think that should be enough and uh, we'll get a switch. Obviously, for now, this is not going to be the correct um, weight or the correct amount of thrust that is required for the entire vehicle to actually hover and fly correctly because we haven't added all the other weight to it just yet. But... Yeah, this is going to be boring, so I'll cut away all of this. It's going to take me a few seconds, and then we'll see how we go. Okay, everything is hooked up nice and purpley. Let's get rid of you. Uh, we do need to actually hook up that to the seat. Let's see how this goes. Whoa! What's going on here? I think maybe the end, the bottom end is stuck into the ground. Maybe that happened. Maybe it's just too heavy. That's an interesting thing. Okay. We'll have to put some more thrusters on around here. Uh, we'll put you down. Maybe uh, an extra row at the back would be sufficient. Let's see if it, it should should look all right if we go maybe extra two rows out. Uh, delete all this. This is going to be uh, pretty difficult, I think to actually get off the ground once we've added all the other beautiful stuff. We could probably go sort of there. Let's remove this and just see how it looks aesthetically. I don't think that's too bad out the back. What do you reckon? I think it looks just fine. We'll lift it up and I will connect these right up in a second. And then we'll take off. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, way too much thrust at the front. Uh, let's fix that up. We're turning you down by like two. As I said, this is probably going to all change in a in a while. Um, but, I mean, the back of it, I'm not going to put too much more weight on there. Maybe I will actually. Probably because I need to cover all that stuff up. Going down two, and then down two. Then the last one. Drop you on the floor. All right, it won't take off at all. That's really kind of weird. Is it stuck in the ground? Or is it just simply like those, those barrels are weighing a buttload? I think that's what... Weighing just absolute buttload. Uh, we might have to put some even up inside the wings. Like in here. 
I can hide them pretty well, I think. Uh, where are you? I think that will that will actually really give us a good amount of thrust. So I'll fix all this up again and connect it. More pink lines. Let's uh, drop you down. Can we take off now, friends? Oh, we can. That's interesting, isn't it? How there's just... It's because, I guess, the weight out here. Let's take away these. Oh. And we'll take away you again. Let's see how it reacts now. I mean, that weight is, is pretty far out on the end of these these bars here. So maybe that's what's really causing me some issues. Still causing some issues though. Interesting. Um, maybe if I even put thrusters down here. I'll probably put the barrels back on. But what we can do is we can like... Hmm. Can we? Just make like some of this. Put some thrusters down here. Put like four. As bad as it will look. But we have to do it. We have to do it, guys. Don't really have much of a choice because it's really weighing us down to the back here. Alright, even more pink lines. Let's try again. Oh, that's perfect. What we need is like to sort of section them off into two different um, sets of thrusters. So we have one and two you can sort of hover. Because as you can see, this is going to climb and continue to climb. It's going to create generate velocity uh, until we hit the roof, which will be in a minute. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I think the Y-Wing looks pretty cool so far. Once we get like a few details down, I think it'll look a hundred times better. Banania! We're going to hit the ground very fast. <laughs> Ooh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm interested to see if I can create some even more stuff, like to get stuff rolling and whatnot. But don't forget to like and subscribe for more scrap mechanic content. I'm also doing a few other games at the moment. If you haven't seen those, please head over and check out like Overfall. Um, it's, it's actually a pretty cool game. Even uh, even I like it, and I don't really like turn-based RPGs. But there's definitely more scrap mechanic coming in the next few days. I will be working on this Y-Wing. It looks so good already. I'm actually very excited for it. Don't forget, hit that like button. I think I said it twice already. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Menace. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.